Baseball, America's pastime, played during the hottest months of the year. Players running and diving across the field, 81 games a season. Even more harsh, the hot Southern California sun. So how do teams keep their fields looking tip top? We're here at Angel Stadium in Anaheim, California to find out just how these teams keep their fields not only alive, but beautiful. Opened in 1966, home to Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, 396 feet from home plate to center field. That is a whole lot of ground to keep. Just how much? We do the math and it's a... If you do the math, leave it in the comments below. Here I'm with head groundkeeper Barney Lopez uh, here at Angel Stadium. Uh, I take care of the grass out here with me and um, probably about a crew of like 11. And um, we were actually in charge of coming in every day and setting up batting practice and getting the field ready for a game. And we come in, we, we take care of the dirt the way the players want it, the mound, the home plate area, the bullpen. So someone like Mike Trout or Pujols will ask you specifically to manicure or groom the lawn or the dirt in a particular way to help them? Yeah, exactly. So basically we've come up with stuff of the way they want it and um, the way they want the pattern and and how they want the ball to roll. And uh, Mike Sosha, he has a lot to do with, you know, how tall the grass is and how the base paths, how their slope. So there's a lot that goes into it that a lot of people don't know. Don't the sweet know. science of baseball, right? Correct. How long have you been hedge groundkeeper here? Uh, going on my 20th season. So how have the tools evolved uh, as, the, as the job? Oh, it's amazing. I mean, from chemicals to equipment, it's just amazing. So it's not just a... Uh, a push mower. Yeah, well, I was, I'm not around, I'm not that old, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> We're basically gonna take everything off the field. We put this tarp on every day to keep the moisture in the mound. What kind of gravel is this? Expensive kitty litter, basically. It's uh, called calcine clay. They fire it at like uh, 1,500 degrees, so it doesn't break down. We're gonna tamp down the mound. Just yep, slam right it. down, yep. <laughs> oh, the power. Okay. Grab that, yeah. bring that on the field. Yeah. What 50, is that? 50 pounds of calcite clay. What this is going to do is help us put a vital screen on the infield. When we water, it's going to help us keep this moisture in the whole game. So, like in the seventh inning, if you look at it, it's still going to be wet out here. On the outside, with the nail. All the way around. Okay, yeah, great. All around the outside. Mm -hmm. We're going to do the catcher's box, so we'll do that right there. And then just kind of yep. take it there. It's in perfect. Uh, like the crown jewel at the pitcher's mouth. Right? This, is the, this is the brand right here. This is it. This is just painted. Uh, different. Well, this is actually the warning track material. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so, so it's, it's different. Yeah, it's just a different, different okay. color. Perfect. To be honest, I was a little nervous pushing the chalk around. I think I did okay. This is more comfortable than my day. We're gonna go out and break the field. Third inning stretch. I've learned anything here at Angel Stadium working grounds crew. There's a lot more that goes into it than I could have ever imagined. And after a long day of work like I just did, I like to gorge myself on a human-sized helmet full of nachos. 